Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. So there's actually not much to say about today's video except for the fact that it's spring. I wanted ripped jeans, went to the store, they were hella expensive, so I just decided to DIY them on my own. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and let's just get into it. Okay guys, I'm so excited for this. So basically I just started off with getting these boyfriend jeans. These ones are from Old Navy. They were on clearance for like 10 bucks. They're kind of loose, which is what I liked about them. And I'm just gonna go and get some washable marker and I'm gonna mark down where I want the rips to start. So as you guys can see, there's already one rip on one side so I'm just kind of like matching it on the other side I'm gonna add a rib here gonna add one here one here one here and yeah pretty much I'm gonna destroy these pants <laughs> Next step isn't necessary, but I actually do want to crop these jeans because wearing them in the springtime, I like having a little bit of ankle showing. So I'm just grabbing that washable marker and I'm just marking down however short I want it. So for the actual distressing, the tools that you're going to need are some tweezers, scissors, and some sandpaper blocks. After you guys have your lines all marked out, you're just going to fold the pants in half and then cut little snippets wherever you guys have a line. And you can totally like extend these to however long you want the ribs to be. Now to just stretch it all out, it's just going to start the little ends from fraying. It's going to make the distressing process much easier. Okay, so this is the fun part. You're going to grab a little bit of the slit that you guys cut and you're pretty much just going to grab a pair of tweezers and you're just going to start pulling out the little blue threads that are sticking out from it. And you guys, this is so pleasing to do. It was so satisfying. Like, ugh, it was so much fun. Let me just fast forward that so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Oh, so satisfying. So pleasing. Once in a while, something else you guys can do is you can cut out little slits if you want like the holes to be a little bit bigger. Like here, I just took a little slit and I decided to cut it out just so that you could see a little bit more leg under. That's pretty much the ripping process and you guys are just going to want to keep distressing it, make it look as messy as possible, the messier the better. Next, in order to crop the pants, you're pretty much just going to line them up with each other and then you're going to find that little line that you drew on before. Once the pants are lined up properly, you're just going to take a pair of scissors and cut through this line. So now you just want to stretch, stretch, stretch. Wow, that's such a tongue twister. Okay, so here's the fun part. You're going to go ahead and grab some sandpaper or some sandpaper blocks just like this, and you're just going to want to distress the pants. Pretty much, you're just going to be like, I don't know, scrubbing it, I guess, and pretty much getting the little lines out of the pants so that they look a little bit more deformed. And to make it a bit easier, you could even cut little slits at the bottom, just so it's easier for the ends to fray. Using the same method we did with the rips, you're just going to fold a little bit of the bottom and you're going to cut a little hole. And then taking tweezers, you're just going to distress that part as well, just so it looks a little bit more realistic. So just have fun with it, just play around with it, try to distress as much as you can, make it look frayed, make it look, you know, destroyed pretty much. And that's how you get the achievable look. Next step is just throw them in the wash and pretty much what this will do is it'll cause them to distress even more and then once they come out, your jeans are gonna look sick. Like I'm so happy at how this turned out. The rips look so realistic as if I actually bought it on my own. Guys, this DIY is so easy, so simple and trust me, you'll be saving a ton of money. So try it, please. And make yourself an epic pair of blue jeans. Okay guys, that's it. That's literally it. So simple, so easy. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it two thumbs up so I know that you like DIYs. Comment down below what your favorite spring accessory is. I would really love to know. And if you don't already know, I'm Haley. Hi, hello, it's nice to meet you. I would really love it if you subscribed. It would make me so, so, so happy. And hit up the notification bell if you wanna get notified every time I post a weekly video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video next week. Okay, bye. Baby girl, you stay on my mind. Fulfill my fantasy. Tell me how you feel I think about you all the time You see it in my dreams